Hello guys, it's your girl Onana and this is Onana Nation. So if it is your first time on this channel, a very special welcome to you. Please go ahead and subscribe because you will definitely love it here. So today we're going to be doing like a recap of the week, what has been happening in Cameroon this week. So that's what we're going to be talking about. Stay tuned. So the first thing we have to talk about is this little girl who is only 16 years old who took her life. A baby girl in Yaoundé killed herself and she was only 16. What happened? The little girl had gone to the kitchen and was cooking food to take to her boyfriend, her little boyfriend, you know, at 16, going through puberty and all that stuff. People fall in love and they start dating people and, you know, how we do. So then she started dating, at, well, not how we do, I wasn't dated at 16, but you know, how they do. <laughs> So she fell in love with this guy and they started dating and so she's cooking for her little boo thing to take food to him And her mommy walks into the kitchen. She's like you again in this house in this kitchen again cooking food The mommy started scolding the girls scolding the girl about taking food to boys or dating guys at this age and the dangers that could potentially happen Mommy started educating the girls scolding her and baby girl has anger issues She got mad she dashed away from the kitchen went into the room and slammed the door in her mother's face She was fuming in the room. She was fuming. This is a little girl who has anger issues every time her mom tries to talk to her She gets mad so she took her phone and called her dad her dad is a, um, a general in Cameroon She picked her phone and called hello daddy mommy has said it again. No mommy's on my case again No mommy's calling me you better come or you better come and tell your wife to stop her. The daddy knows that the baby girl is a little like anger tantrum girl. She always throws anger tantrums here and there. She gets bitter all the time. So the daddy was like, you know what, calm down. I'm still at work. I'm going to come take you later. I'm going to come see you. Just calm down. Daddy's going to be there in a minute. Let me finish what I'm doing. Let me clear my table for the day. So daddy has told the little girl to calm down. No, little girl no here. She was still mad. And mommy kept talking to her. You should be careful with guys. So that's how do you come and carry on unwanted pregnancy and come to this house. Very soon you will drop out from school. Your future is ahead of you or you have your whole life ahead of you you have to be careful you have to be smart when you deal with boys mommy was there i'm just you know assuming like that's what a mom would tell the daughter so the mom was talking to her you have to be careful with boys so Little girls are 16. Little girls are 16. They don't want to hear what you can't tell them nothing. They think they rule the world. They think they know more than everybody. They're very smart, you know, or at least they're smart asses. So the little girl was there talking to the mom. That mommy don't talk to me. Blah, 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 blah. Exchanging words with the mom. She went and entered the mommy's room and the daddy's room. She closed the door of her parents' room. Her dad is a commissioner. And for some reason, daddy had a loaded gun at home. You guys can see how dangerous it is to keep guns at home, right? Things like this happen for us to learn. If you're a parent, you have a gun. Do not even keep the gun loaded. Keep the empty gun somewhere the case somewhere and the gun somewhere the, the the cartridge or the bullet somewhere far away from home or where your kids will not see them lock them in the safe at, at home so the little girl went into her father's room for some reason daddy had a loaded gun the little girl picked it up and then she picked the gun and then she was telling her mom i'm a prisoner in this house i want to be free i'm a prisoner in this house i want freedom Oof, and she took her own life. Can you imagine how, how, the, like the mindset of this little girl for you to be this bitter that your mom wants to correct you, your mom wants to point you on the right path of life? She went into the room and took a gun and took her own life. So it's really unfortunate what happened to this little girl. She's on the floor. Her daddy now has finished what he's doing. He's running back home to come see the little girl because he knows the little girl has anger issues. It's not the first time that she has threatened to take her life. So daddy is running to come home only to come and meet this baby girl on the floor in a pool of her own blood. Daddy is screaming like, Papa God, you begin to kill me, oh, Papa God, you can imagine. So today the family is devastated, mom is crying, dad is crying, a little girl has taken her own life. For Sika Witi, Palava Love, or Romeo and Juliet, to children of nowadays, so children of nowadays who are dating at 16. Well, that's not even the part that is paining us. We're not angry that you're dating at 16. The fact that you don't want to listen to your mom advise you. You don't want to listen to your mom who has been there before you. She's done all the things you've done. So she's trying to point you on the right path. What is wrong with this generation that children don't want to listen? So the baby girl is dead today and most of us just came out on social media. I shared this on my Facebook page and on Instagram. We're just saying rest in peace to you little girl and we hope little girls out there are learning. Do not let anger push you to extremes. Do not let anger take the best of you. If you do something, only you are going to regret it. Because I'm sure the little girl is sleeping on the floor. They say when people die, their spirit comes out of the body. So I'm sure when the spirit just levitated from her body, the spirit turned and looked at her on the floor. The spirit was like, chai. How you dull so? How you foolish so? Why you go through with this action? Why did you finally do it? So I'm sure her spirit is regretting, like looking at her body on the floor, like child. 
why did you do this to yourself why did you take your own life so we should all be careful not let anger have the best of us not let anger control us i mean her mom was just trying to correct her points on the right path and she killed herself so today most of us are showing sympathy for the family and we are saying rest in peace little girl other people are saying that we should rest in peace if i catch the gay body here flog bag of flog them. so some people have divided um feelings divided reactions on social media today some people are saying we should rest in peace oh no no let me not just hear that in that rest in peace if i catch the young girl body i go flog them well so people are really mad at the younger that filming because the position in which she has put her parents they may go into depression as a parent your baby takes her life it's going to haunt you for the rest of your life because you're going to have questions what did i do wrong the mom is going to be thinking what did i do wrong could i have spoken differently could i have worded you know my statements my correction to her differently could i have said it in a nicer way mom the problem is not you the problem is a little girl no matter how you said it she still would have felt mad she still would have got angry so this is a little girl that her friends are coming out today to say she has always been suicidal she always had anger issues she was always that kind of child that if you cannot talk to her she will not hear a word so she's that kind of person that she's out here you know living her life you cannot correct her that's who she was and her friends are saying that she has tried to take her life three times in the past so she was always suicidal and i don't know how they could not seek help for her mental health matters a lot of us in africa we don't know mental health matters it matters a lot so we have to try our best if people are going through depression and they are showing you signs of instability mentally take them to the hospital this is a little girl who has tried to kill herself three times in the past. Why did the parents not take her to a psychiatric hospital or to, um, you know, we have Jamo in Yaoundé, Opita Jamo, that's a psychiatric hospital. You can take them to this hospital or you can see a psychotherapist so they can begin counseling, begin therapy and try to listen to them, address the issues from the root cause. So that's a little girl with pent up anger, pent up frustration. She's been angry so many times in her life. She's been keeping it all the way here, all the way here. And this little thing her mom did, this little tiny correction her mom gave her, just pushed her over the edge and it's unfortunate. So when things happen like this, an opportunity for us all to learn a few lessons. So lesson number one, um, do not let anger push you to extremes because if you do certain actions, you're going to be the one to blame yourself. You're going to be the one in pain tomorrow. So lesson number two is all about manner of approach. You know, parents, when you're scolding your kids, there's so many beautiful ways you can put it. You can talk to them in a nice way. Um, I'm a parent, but my kids are still small. So if you want to scold your children sometimes, just take them out. You can be like at a, an ice cream parlor. You buy ice cream for him or her. I mean, he's eating ice cream. She's eating her ice cream. You're eating yours. And then you, you bring the, the conversation on the table like, baby Girl, you see this life is really funny and for us ladies it's even more difficult because most times we are the ones who are left with half fufu in our hands if you know what I'm saying so you have to be careful in your relationships I know you're 16 and you may feel like I mean you're going through puberty and you may feel like you need a boyfriend I understand that but I want you to be open to me I want you to come to me like I want to meet your boyfriend introduce him to me because that way I want him to come visit you at home because that way I know I can put my eyes on him I can see what you guys are doing I'm just looking out for you I'm looking out for your best interest I want you to focus on your school first I'm trying to raise a career woman I'm trying to raise a strong independent girl and educate girl and if you start messing around with boys you may get unwanted um, you may get pregnant you may come back home with an unwanted pregnancy or you can have STDs or you can delay your academic career because if you get pregnant you have to stay home for one year or two to nurse the baby before going back to school so I'm trying to look out to you look out for you I'm trying to look out for your best interests I'm not against what you're doing I understand that at that age you may feel like you have to be involved in yourself and all those things but I want you to do it the right way I want to direct you you can have a boyfriend but I want to be there like a chaperone every time you meet him I want to make sure you guys are you know keeping your hands to yourself I want to make sure that you're not involving yourself in things that will hurt your future I'm your mom. I will not be telling you these things, you know, if I don't have your best interests at heart. I want you to be able to come to me if there's anything. We can discuss, you know, strategize and see how to work through it. But most importantly, I just want you to be careful. So while you guys are sitting there at the ice cream parlor, you're eating ice cream, and you're giving her the message in a very slick way. You're making her to know she can trust mommy. You're making her to know she can come to mommy in case anything shows up. You're making her to know she can come to mommy for advice. There are kids who come to their mommy and tell their mommy, I think I'm falling in love with this guy in school. That's because of the relationship you've created with them and now you know how to advise her and then you know how to you know guide her through the process so parents if you're correcting your children correct them in love just maybe make a cup of tea you give her while she's drinking or drinking you're talking you know watching tv and you're advising her in a very nice way instead of shouting i saw you day i saw you day hey the picking no before 16 eh? you before 16 before 17 you could not get us on six picking them you could not. 
I was in primary school, we had our classmates, one of our classmates who were really hot in primary school, one of our teachers, Madame Eyong, Madame Eyong told this together you, before form two, you have about 12 kids, so you can see how some parents really correct children as if they are condemning them and insulting them, so yeah, you can try to make sure that your manner of approach is beautiful and you talk to them in a way they can understand, in a language they can understand and they will not feel ashamed of themselves, ashamed of their sexuality, so you cannot suppress it, you just have to give them sex education, teach them and open up to them. So that was lesson number two. Lesson number three, parents don't keep loaded guns at home. Don't do that. Some people have their guns with a safety on. What safety is just a pin. If the child can unhook the safety pin, the child can still use the gun. We are trying to avoid that. Every year in the US or every year in the world, there's millions of children who die because of gun accidents at home. People actually kill their siblings using guns at home. This lady, she killed herself, but there's cases where children have picked their father's gun like this and killed their brothers or sisters in the home. So you have to make sure that you don't even loaded guns at home if you're a military dad watching me or if you're just a dad who have your gun make sure you don't keep them loaded at home keep the empty gun somewhere keep the bullets in a shell case hard in the safe somewhere in the house under the bed or anywhere you know the kids will not reach so that's what's up you guys should not keep loaded guns at home it has cost so many lives sometimes the kids pick the gun and by accident they kill even you the parents or their siblings at home so we want to make sure that we are watching out for ourselves and our families if you have guns at home <clears throat> Go now, we'll go and remove the bullets, go and remove all the cartridges and keep far away so that the kids cannot locate them. So yeah, that's that for that. The little girl in Yaoundé, the colonel's daughter, Colonel Jock, his daughter just took her life and the family is devastated today. And you know, when things are like this happen, it's an opportunity for us to learn. Let us know your own reactions on the topic in the comment section below. Let us know um, the lessons you pick from this topic in the comment section below. I'll be reading your comments, I'll be liking and I'll be replying. So thank you guys so much for watching. Um, that's what's up about this um, um, baby girl in Jock's case that has taken her life today and leaving her family devastated um leave me your comments in the comment section below and thank you guys so much for watching what do you think about this young girl what do you think about the family how do you think the mom is going to react how do you think that is going to be right now because that sometimes when people are going through pain they tend to blame the other partner because that will be blaming the mom because he's in pain sometimes in pain you say things that you would not normally say the dad can turn and start blaming the mom like you are the reason why the, my, my baby girl is gone you are the reason you started scolding her da, da, da. so you can see how the family will be going through a lot a lot of division a lot of pain mom will be devastated Stated. She'll be asking herself, what did I do to my baby girl to take her life? Mom will be in so much pain and dad will be in pain and sometimes he may turn and start blaming mom. So you can see that's a family that is shaken. They can never be the same again. They will never be the same. It's difficult to recover from things like this. Two, three, four, five, ten years from now, people will still be pointing her on the street. That woman, that's the woman. You know Cameroonians now. People will still be pointing her, that woman, that's the woman whose daughter took her life. So... This family, my heart just breaks for them because they may never be the same again. They may never not, like, not recover from this. I just wish them the best. They should seek help, professional help too, because mm -hmm, losing a child to you know suicide like this, you need counseling. You need somebody to really work on your mental health. You need counseling. You need therapy for you to adjust for the family to go back to normal. So our thoughts and our prayers are with them today, the jokes, the daddy and the mommy. We pray God blesses them and you know give them a strong heart as they grieve the person of their daughter. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I remain your girl Onana. If it is your first time on this channel, please don't go without subscribing. Like, comment, subscribe, and share the video. And I will see you guys in my next video. Goodbye.